right, you guys, it's January 25th, Tuesday, I believe, and I ain't filmed nothing. Um, I took the engine in and out 8 billion times with those headers on and kept trimming, 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 trimming from the, um, from the frame in the front. And finally, I just said, F it, and I cut a bunch of it out. Um, and I didn't film any of that. Uh, I will show you what I've got now or where I'm at now. So I took a bunch out. I was gonna take this all the way up here, but there's some blocking in here that I tried to cut through. And I think it's because the bumper, the bumper bolts like here and up here. So at any rate, I tried to TIG all this stuff in. I ain't that good at TIGging, but I was actually doing fairly decent. However, the frame is coated, I think inside and outside with um, galvanizing. So, I mean, this front little area right here, uh, that's what I was able to um, TIG. And then it just kept getting crappier and crappier. You can see all this white stuff. There was, that's just stringing everywhere. So I said, screw it. And I MIG welded it. I didn't film, I just got busy. Um, I'm gonna grind all this off so that it looks presentable. You know, I'm one of those type of welders, but, um, and then I'll, get the engine set back in there and we should have zero problems now my homies are concerned that these headers are too big for a 302 to spool a turbo but i'll squeeze the bitch i don't give it i don't care um <laughs> still undecided if i'm gonna have a stock bottom end 302 in this pile or if i'm just gonna go straight to a 363 uh, my buddy showed me a, a short block. Um, so I might do that. I, I just don't know. You guys, it just really depends on how much this car costs by the time it gets um, 25.5 in it and all that stuff. Um, you know, it's got the Jexter wheels on it. Uh, that could be changed later. I've got them in the rear. I've got the tires here. Those can be changed later. I, I'm not concerned with having the double bead lock, super badass wheel while i'm in the middle of cutting all the stuff out of the rear cutting all the stuff out of the front I, I, you got to start somewhere and i want this car to get done sooner than later wheels and all that shit can be changed later um you know I, i'm just trying to get the dang thing going but uh so now that i've notched the front of the frame it inhibits of where my uh, mounts are going to go for the motor plate so uh, you'll see what i'm going to do out here but out here i'm going to make a little like standoff deal and it won't won't come any further out this way than than this is but i'll make something right here and hopefully it'll tie in and kind of strengthen this up where i've cut the front out and, and let's be honest the only thing that's really hanging off of the frame here forward is just this front stuff the radiator and blah, 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 blah. So I ain't concerned about any of that. I'll make something on the inside, the line right there and, and right here. I had to cut the battery tray out. That's where the uh, motor plate mounts are gonna come from. And I've never done this shit before. So I put the Fox body together, but you, you just call up Team Z or whoever, buy all the parts you want um, and away you go. Everything's bolt in. None of this car is going to be bolted, none of it. Um, so, you know, if I screw something up or you see something wrong, drop a comment. But I'm just going to do me and not worry about it. I'm not Big Daddy, Don Garlitz, or Jeff Lutz, or anybody else. But what I'm doing, I'm pretty sure is going to work just fine. You know, and if I can't spool the turbo, then I'll get a smaller turbo. If uh, these headers are too big, which I don't think they're going to be. A 363 with 12 to 1 compression. 11 12 to 1 if it can't spool a freaking uh, little baby t4 turbo then i'm in i'm doing something really wrong okay wednesday the 26th been going at it all week let me show you what, what i've got i didn't film hardly any of this because i've been just trying to crank and sometimes filming you can't get nothing done and i've been doing this before i go to work so time is of the essence so I made these little boxes. Um, 
give the motor mount plate thing whatever something more to grab onto got them on both sides probably gonna have to make these a little bit bigger i'm getting ready to set the engine back in with the engine plate and see where we're at I don't know where this is going to end up on the video but it's monday january 31st i kind of just went crazy and got a bunch of stuff done i don't really know how much is filmed you'll see i guess somewhere in the video but where i'm at now is the motor is sitting on the motor and mid plate um i still need to finish the brackets for the back i'm supposed to go get a bell housing on wednesday and I want to get the bell housing in there and see how much of the trans tunnel is going to have to come out. Probably going to pick up a set of the Meyer subframe connectors. I hit up the chassis guy that's going to do the 25.5 and he says those will work fine. Get them. I don't think it's going to affect what he's doing. So I'll probably pick those up because they're up in Livermore if they have them in stock. Um, email sounded like they didn't have them in stock. But what I need to do now because I'm starting to get some bucklage here on my shock towers because I've yet to weld everything up. I got the engine sitting in here. So I'm gonna pull the engine out, um, get everything welded up. Uh, I also need to cut the shock towers. Let me show you guys. You see the line over there? I need to cut that and give myself a little bit more room so that the spring isn't hitting. It's really close um, to hitting. And the car hasn't been aligned, so this coilover could go in, come out. So I'm gonna cut and give myself a little bit of room. Uh, fenders are trying to buckle right here. I don't know if you can see that, but basically they're, they're, they're trying to go in. I sawed this all apart. That's the factory deal that went there. You know, normally it comes down here and has the snubber on it, but I cut all that apart. And with a piece, piece of eighth inch plate, I bolted it together and that helped make it a little stiffer, but it's not a hundred, but uh, The chassis guy is going to be able to tie into this anyways Like I've said before if I haven't when this bar comes out and <coughs> Excuse me comes out and catches Wherever he's gonna tie this in So I don't have any movement right here anymore. Plus. I think it'll help once everything's actually welded in It's just spot welded. So there's really no strength they're either a little bit but not a lot so here's the engine sitting on the motor and mid plate not a whole lot of room in this little car i put the motor back a half inch further than i had had it before but i think that's going to be okay um i can get to these bolts here i just don't know about once i get try to put the bell housing in um i found some other odd video on youtube and you know, they had to cut like way up here just to get an AOD in one of these cars. So I'm probably gonna have to do something similar, whatever. And then still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do up front here. An SN radiator is like perfect. If I cut all this out, it's like 30 inches wide and 18 something tall. Perfect to go in there, a lot of radiator flow. Problem is, is where the heck is the turbo gonna go? Um, may have to, saw more stuff out here i don't know and and try to get the turbo positioned in here somewhere um kind of wanted it right here it's where the factory battery would sit this was there for the battery kind of wanted it right here but um i, I don't know I, I gotta still do some figuring uh waiting on parts also to show up today i got some parts coming from motion and some parts coming from midwest chassis midwest chassis is gonna allow me to that's a three-quarter double D. Um, so basically, this is actually on wrong. Midwest chassis got a three-quarter 
to double the adapter. So I'll build that into this shaft and then I'll be able to put the double D on like that and then go down um, to the steering rack. So I'm waiting on all that stuff. And then with motion, I have an engine travel limiter um, for the guys that get to run uh, a mid and motor plate that are a quarter inch aluminum, probably don't have as much problem or wouldn't have as much problem. But for me, stick shift guy, I've got this little itty bitty eighth inch plate as the mid plate. And so this thing does have a lot of wobble back and forth, but I'll use that. I already only ordered one cause I'm kind of limited on space. And then if I need to get another one, I can get another one for the other side, but I might have problems with the steering on this side, trying to get one of those in here. So at any rate, um, probably put on time lapse. I'm gonna get cutting, get the engine out. I'm gonna get all this stuff welded up so that I'm not screwing with it anymore. I made these standoffs so there's more for that plate to grip. I didn't go any more forward because the bumper. I may get crazy and quite honestly, you guys come back to like here um, and do the same thing. Stand it off and come all the way back to here just to give the frame a little more support. So. here where the galvanizing is it just spatters and spatters and spatters whatever that stuff is is gross I mean look over here you can see the like that white I don't know what that stuff is but very hard to weld wherever the plate is no problem but that that frame that shit is tough modified the shock tower so that a two inch piece would go in there because I thought that would clear but cut it out and even with two inch it's still close like if they were to adjust the this way if they were to go in with the castle camera plates they would have hit so I took another inch out of the bottom I'm gonna have to fabricate um, a three and a quarter inch piece because it's at an angle but I think that'll do it I'll still be able to get the headers in and out of there and it'll still be strong all right it's the next day I got 
the driver driver uh, shock tower almost all the way uh, welded up and all that. So let me show you. So that's gives me some more room on the back side here. And I'm still gonna weld all this from the back side too. Give it some strength, but let me keep going. Okay, that one's done. I might need body work when the car gets uh, painted or whatever, but this one's done. That back area is hard to get to. This is what it looks like in the process. I'll come in here with the wheel, cut that off, and then I'll weld that up. And then over here, all I do is get, get my piece. I get it in here and mark it so that it's close. And then what I'll do is I'll tack. Maybe I can get you set up and I'll show you, but I'll tack and then I'll, I'll work the metal around so that it, it gets this curve right here. And then I'll weld everything up and grind it all to where it looks decent, like that one. All right, I get it set in there like that. See if I can get a tack on it without it falling. I got my tacks there, that should hold it like that. welding and not TIG welding. Dirty way to do it, but we'll get the metal all stuck together. That's for sure. Let's see here. Ah.
I'll go on the inside and push the corner back out. Be glad when this stuff's over with. thin right here. It's real thin right there because I had to grind the weld away to get the other piece out. So the metal got real thin, but I'll go on the back side once this is all trimmed and done and I'll weld up the back side too. So that's how I, I did that. All right, you guys, I got both of the shock towers remodified or reworked. Um, now I'm going to weld the inside of them. I didn't record all of messing with both of these because... I'm trying to do this before work and just get work done. So let me show you what I got here. All right, both pretty close to the same. They all measured out the same. Uh, they feel stronger now. They feel a lot stronger than they were. Um, and now I'm just gonna get inside here and I'm gonna go all the way around and, and weld in here too on both sides. <laughs> 